Hello everyone, my name is Dr Steve Connolly and I'm the Deputy Head of School uh, for, the, for Education and Social Care with particular responsibility for postgraduate education courses. Hi, my name is Ruth Platt and I'm a Senior Lecturer Practitioner at the School of Education at ARU and a course leader for the PGCE. Steve, I wonder if you can just talk us through the difference between PGCE and QTS. Yeah, sure. So PGCE or Postgraduate Certificate in Education is an academic course taken by people who are either want to become teachers or are training to be teachers in their early career. That's distinctly different from QTS, Qualified Teacher Status, which is the qualification you need to teach in schools in the UK. Uh, there's a, obviously a difference between those two, uh, those two qualifications. And uh, we're here to talk about the uh, ARU PGCE, uh, which is a without QTS PGCE, uh, and uh, has a, a number of different kind of ways into it. Uh, and Ruth, I wonder if you could tell us a little bit about uh, who this course is for. Yeah, so our PGCE caters to two different cohorts. So you might be somebody living in the UK or abroad already in a school setting and wanting to further develop your career and deepen your understanding of your practice. So we provide an online version of the PGCE for people like you. So our distance learners doing the PGCE really have found it very beneficial. But you may be somebody thinking about going into the classroom and becoming a classroom teacher. And we work in partnership with local providers who provide the QTS part of the qualification. And we work in collaboration with them to provide the PGCE. OK, and how do you think that the PGCE supports people in their teacher education journey? So no matter where you are, um, in terms of your journey, whether you're just um, training to become a teacher or, re or already teaching or working in a school, the course has been carefully designed to support your development as a practitioner. And by learning strategies and developing your critical thinking skills, you will become a more self-confident teacher, an empowered teacher and a more knowledgeable teacher. And our graduates are finding that they are getting jobs in quite competitive situations because they are reflecting and talking about their, their learning from the PGCE course. Yeah, really important to know that point about employability. Um, at Open Days and other events, I often get asked uh, a number of questions about the PGCE and it might be worth trying to answer some of those now. Um, mm. If you're an early years educator, is the PGCE suitable for you, would you say? Absolutely. Um, early years and primary and secondary, all people in whichever part of teaching field you're in, this PGCE is appropriate. And what about the workload and the way it's assessed? Some people are very worried that when they're early on in their career, you know, they have to do a lot of work anyway. What would you say about the workload and the assessment of PGCE? Well, our students tell us that the workload is manageable and because the assessments have been kind of chunked up into kind of continuous assessment through the module, the workload is manageable. Additionally, the assessments are all based on your practice. So we encourage you to reflect on your practice and write about it. And so it's not like additional work. It's work that you would already be doing in the classroom for us. And what about what about progression? I mean, we, we should say something about the way that that people can use the PGCE uh, for further study, shouldn't we? Yeah, and I think the PGCE provides a really fantastic foundation for, for progression at ARU. And there's there are lots of different pathways once you've got your PGCE and lots of other kind of postgraduate options. But the PGCE um, really helps you with that level seven confidence and engagement with kind of a more academic side of teaching. Yeah, and it's important to revisit that key question again that we often get asked, isn't it, about will this PGCE qualify me to be a teacher in the UK? No, it doesn't qualify you to be a teacher. You have to get your QTS, your qualified teaching status, through a different provider. Yeah, so it's important to say that it won't qualify you on its own. Like you say, people will be doing it alongside that QTS qualification. And OK, so... What about next steps for people who might be interested in pursuing the PGCE? 
Well, there are there are two options. So you, you could attend our online open days, which are accessible through our website, or you can email answers at aru dot ac dot uk to find out some more information about our course okay thanks Rich. Uh, that's great we hope you found this uh, video really useful and we look forward to seeing some of you in the future thanks for watching bye